A significant day for the AFL. We can reveal to you tonight that they will be implementing a pre-finals buy, and that has significant ramifications and consequences, Caro, for not just the makeup of the final series, but the grand final itself. That's right, Sam. It looks like the grand final will be COVID allowing on the weekend of October 24, a later date. And, and um, I'm not ruling out this Sunday, but given I think that the NRL grand final That's I think right. is going to be played on Sunday, October 25, I would imagine Saturday night, October 24, is the night after the running of the Cox Plate. Matthew, we know that some clubs didn't want a buy. Geelong, I think, was one club who were keen to just get it going. Mm. I'm not sure where Richmond stood. I know that um, West Coast and Brisbane were pretty keen to have the buy, and most clubs, I think, the majority of potentially finals-bound clubs felt that they would benefit from the buy, and the AFL in the end went with the fact that they'd have the stars up and running. Yeah, I think most of the clubs, uh, Ross and Sam, that have been in their own beds for a long period of time, I think would say, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have an extra week off, but I think a lot of the clubs who have been on the road for I don't know, how many weeks is it already? Five or six weeks? And they've got another eight weeks to go would say, let's just get this season going, finish it earlier, and then we can get home to our family. Ross, as a coach, would you rather take the momentum if you're towards the top of the ladder, or would you rather take the extra rest? I'm disappointed for the top four teams that work hard for a double chance, and then it's equalised for the other team. You know, if you win the final, you get the rest. Mm. So I think that's been dissipated. Geelong specifically yeah. haven't handled the bye mm even in season, let alone going into the final. So I understand their, re you know, um, reluctance. Mm. But, uh, you know, you're always going to have a split view on it. Mm. So, so further to that, the grand final presentations have been... Three have been done. Uh, the uh, Brisbane, who... Queen, the, um, the state of Queensland, who I believe are the front runner, presented yesterday. Uh, the Gold Coast Suns had a board meeting tonight. Tony Cochran, of course, chaired that bid, the um, Brisbane bid to have the grand final at the Gabba. It was a strong bid, I'm told. It involved a big ticket pre-game entertainment. I'd love to tell you who it is. I don't know. Um, the last state to present is tomorrow, and that's New South Wales, and they'll be pushing for the Homebush Stadium, the ANZ Stadium, which is, of course, I think the biggest ground out of all of them in terms of crowd numbers. And my feeling... Well, there won't be an announcement this week, Matthew. Mm. We won't know this week where the grand final is going to be. Gillan McLaughlin said last week it would be this week. It'll be mm. next week. The Commission and Gillan McLaughlin and his team still have a lot of questions to all the states with the big have put forward. Of course, the Queensland bid involved the Brownlow medal as well to be held at the Gold Coast Convention Centre. I think that is less likely to happen because of COVID and all the issues about big crowds. But I, I feel that any announcement that does happen next week will involve the Premier of Victoria, Daniel Andrews, as well. Yep. I feel that there'll be some ownership from the MCG and Daniel Andrews, given that they're handing it over for one year. So, Cara, we, we know the date. We think we know the date, October 24. What about the time slot? Would... Queensland prefer it to be at a certain time? Because if the Cox Plate is around about certainly the 5 o'clock mark... Certainly at night. Okay. Uh, my view is that it will certainly be at night if it's in Queensland. I have never really believed um, Western Australia was in the running. I know some people think they are. I think South Australia would be more likely if there was a surprise decision, Matthew. But although they're not a footy state, they've proved themselves to be that. And I'm, I'd be shocked now if Queensland don't get it. <laughs>